Hello, my name is Kark82, and welcome back to our Omni Factory playthrough. I'm just getting set up to build this uh, multi block that we uh, kind of got into last episode. And uh, yeah, I did uh, see all the comments about the carbon fiber setup thing that I had, and we'll quickly fix it. Um, the issue is, and this did not happen the last time I played through Greg Tech Community Edition in uh, Greg Block, so this has changed. Uh, the problem is, it does not stop running, even if the output is full. Like normal machines, if the output's full, it's not going to run. It'll just backlog, but uh, since this is percent chance, uh, it'll just keep running infinitely, and it'll just, you know, I'll just tear through all my resources. So, uh, that's I don't like that change. That's really annoying. But uh, we'll have to change the recipe. And I'll probably just do... I mean, it's a pretty large percent chance. It's not like... It's not like a 5% chance where you would need to do like 50 in carbon and you might not even get it. I mean, it's 85%. So you pretty much always get it. Um, just a couple times you don't, but uh, I'll probably just go ahead and do like double the recipe or maybe instead of like a one to three recipe or one to two, maybe, no, that's not what I want. What am I thinking? Uh, I guess we'll just have to double it. Yeah, that's, yeah. We'll just have to trick the a thinking you're going to have to put two carbon in there. So it's going to make double, but we'll end up getting extra, which is fine. It'll just go into the A system, and then it'll get used up next time we need it. So, yeah, basically just make a fake recipe. There is the interface. All right. So... Just wanted to point that out because that setup would have been not good. It would have just torn through all my resources infinitely. So, uh, yeah. Um, it'll just put double the amount in and uh, we'll just get extra in the end. All right. But, uh, yeah, I have been... I made recipes for these frost-proof machine cases. I was thinking these were... Uh, Stainless steel, but this is actually only, they're just aluminum. The, uh, the distillation tower things are the stainless casings. Um, so, I think, uh, i just go ahead and craft up 52 of those. Yeah, there we go. And we also need a bunch of these, 84. I do have, yeah, we have 700 that I think I'm gonna have to I'm gonna change this I hope the steel can I get where are we never find the steel I get can I do it with carbon yes I can okay so I'm gonna use up the charcoal that I've been using for the steel and then uh I'm going to switch that to carbon because I have a thing set up for carbon. What did I say? 84. I probably don't have enough anywhere near enough. Yeah. Steel frame. Didn't I? I thought I did steel frames. Oh. Out of room. On this assembler. <laughs> oh, AE with your only nine on an interface. I really wish. Yeah. Oh. Actually, I'm not using this fluid export bus anymore. That was... Yeah, that was for... the soldering alloy, but I've changed it to the other one over there. So I can actually throw... That's... Alright, that's good. We'll get one of those, but... Alright, this is going to take a second. I also set up a little thing. I mean, this is not super impressive, but... Uh, I saw someone mentioned a while ago we can just automate this charger. 
some reason I thought it couldn't be automated, but yeah, basically just I just throw Certus in there. I can even hook it up to the A system to put Certus uh, in there, and then it'll pull it out with a filter, and then it'll pull out the the charged one. It'll put the the non-charged one in and pull it out there. And I could automate this with like interfaces and everything, um, but for now, don't. I'm not going through it a ton. I just set that up because I finally got a, <laughs> I finally set this uh, recipe up. All right, so I think, uh, yeah, I think we just need to get this stuff crafted up. Is there anything? I don't, these, I'm a little <laughs> hesitant to automate all these recipes because like, so one recipe, two, three, four, five. So that just getting this would be five recipes, six, seven, eight, nine, and but, I mean that's like 10 recipes just so and I'm like am I gonna be I don't know how many of these I'm actually gonna be crafting up in the end I mean there's only so many of these modular things and I think they're actually being replaced in an update um I think I believe these multi-blocks are actually gonna go away oh, don't quote me on that though I feel like I, I read that somewhere um but all right let me I guess yeah, let me just, I think we're, oh, did we get all those frost boots already? We might have already, Man, that was quick. Yeah, the upgraded blast furnace is pretty good. And uh, I know like getting multiple blast furnaces is the way to go, but I don't know. I'm stubborn. I like having just the, everything going into the one. I will eventually add on to Last furnaces. I'll probably have four in a row, and maybe multiple rows, but uh, we're getting there. I really, this is more, I just really need to figure out where I want to get my final base, because uh, this is definitely not big enough for a Greg Tech endgame base, so I'm going to have to figure that out. Uh, I really just don't, I don't know what I want to do. I'm not, I don't have any like inspiration yet as to what I want to do uh, with the base. The easiest would be just to build way up and do like a huge sky platform. <laughs> but that's, uh, I'm kind of doing that in Project Ozone, so I don't really want to do that, but I don't know. Anyway, let me get all this stuff crafted up and we will come back. All right, we are back, and I did a couple recipes, but, um, like I made the, like the casing, but the other ones are actually pretty easy, because you basically just do that. I mean, they're really easy with a, with that stuff, so I did do a couple recipes for... The hopper and a bucket, um, but they use a five and a three circuit, and I don't know if that's actually going to mess anything up. Um, so I'm just going to take them out, and we can put them in as we need it. Um, I don't craft those up a whole lot, but uh, yeah. All right, but that looks like yeah, that looks like it's the whole thing. All right, so we do need the liquid air. Um, And it, liquid air, unfortunately, is over here. And we need to feed it, or it's advised to feed it RF, uh, like we're doing with this one. So question is, all right, um, I do have a, it's that, right? Air, is that what goes in? I'm trying to remember here, is it? Ah, right. I remember this. 
it needs to go through the vacuum freezer. It's not just regular air. So there's air and you send it through a vacuum freezer to liquid air. And it looks like you can't do, I feel like I did this as cells at some point. Maybe, maybe that was Craig Tech New Horizons. So it does need to go in like an input hatch. And I don't think I ever actually put an input hatch on our, no, no. Yeah, the, see the one, hmm, hmm. I don't wanna have this running constantly. So I don't, don't wanna have it full. Oh man, how do I wanna do this? I mean, if we end up needing millions of these buckets of liquid air, I would craft up a whole separate vacuum freezer, but I feel like at least to get a feel for this, maybe I don't have, yeah, sure, why not? Why don't we just, well, yeah, why not? We'll just use, I usually don't do, I usually use the LV ones because um, they have the smallest input plus, unless I need something bigger. Um, I guess we could do, why don't we do, thinking we're going to craft up, as I need another HV hull, I'm thinking. <laughs> um, why don't we, just hopping over machines, so funny. Um, uh, air collector, is there, all right, there is an HV, right? That's HV, right? They, no, don't have, I don't have all this stuff, unfortunately, I don't have it. Why does that need an item filter for an air collector? Shouldn't it be like a fluid air filter? <laughs> Fluid filter. I was just thinking that. Alright, I did kind of forget about this, unfortunately. Um, so I'm not fully prepared for this. Alright, uh, why don't I actually... Let's get the multi-block built, and then I will... Well, this isn't too bad. Since everything is auto crafting. Oh, what am I? Uh, steel rings. Did I not? No. All right. I still need another extr couple of extruders. All right. But I don't think we need to. Yeah, we don't need to watch me craft this up. Uh, so I'm going to do that. Let me let's build up the multi block. And uh, so it's HV. All right, so it needs liquid air, which will come out of here. I guess I do. Oh, I need an output bus for this. I didn't even think about that. I don't have those. Why don't I have those? Now that I'm thinking about it, I should just have those. I don't have recipes for an input hatch and an output hatch, input bus. Question is, am I just, I guess we'll send this through. Yeah, we'll just connect it to eight. Now this is a very large multi-block, so I think we're gonna have to do this like outside. And I'll build like maybe a wall around it or anything, but this is kind of where we're running out of room. This is a, can hear stuff. I don't want to get attacked. Yeah, there's like spawners and all sorts of stuff. So I'm definitely going to have to 
Oh man, do I really want to build out here? Right, let me let me figure out where I want to build this. <laughs> and uh, let me get the stuff ready for this. And let me get the aircraft crafted up. And uh, yeah, we'll come back. All right, we are back. And I'm trying to remember if this... Can you turn this off? Don't work. Does this work? I feel like it doesn't. No, it doesn't. All right, so that's... I feel like that's not... Uh, right there was not going to work. Why don't we do... Does it save the thing? I thought it would have... I thought it would have... I thought I would have just lost it, but I mean, it's... Doesn't matter. Um, what happens if we do this? This here. I want something that I can like turn on and off. We'll do that and then. Oh man, that. Even if I have that, hmm. This thing's kind of annoying. <laughs> um, I guess we could do into like a tank. Maybe that would what we would do. Um, although I don't know what happens if this fills up. Let's we'll let that run for a little bit and see what happens. If this fills up. Does this turn off? If this is full. Um, so we got some things we need to figure out here. But uh, I did build up like kind of a little area. And we'll kind of close it off a little bit once we get this thing built. Alright, so there is kind of like... What did I have right here? No. See if I can get out of here with this thing. No. <laughs> uh, trying to figure out the front. Right? Yeah, six. Alright, so this is kind of what I'm thinking of. One, two, and then that there. All right, there we go. That's what I needed. And then input hatch goes there. And then along the back, a bit weird. It's two, the energy and input hatch, and then three. So that's a bit weird. I think the energy hatch should go like right in the middle. Um, but we're going to have to kind of, yeah, figure this out. Let me, I'll at least do that. And then the three. All right, so let's, that, is that all the, yeah, that's all of them. And then it's like, let's fill this in and wait, that's like more than I end up with, I think that's too much. Actually, I don't know. Does the let's do no? It's kind of like right. that. No, that's not the bottom, is it? Get myself confused here. No, that's the bottom. So yeah, there's the bottom. So this. 
that middle thing. And then it's empty in the middle. All right, so it like Did I not? Oh. Like that. There we go. Okay, it's like that. So. The four in the corner, the two. All right. So that's all of that. All right, nice. And then. These. And that just goes up. Like that. And that's capped off at the top. Right. How many layers? How high is that? One, two, three, four, five, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then the cap, all right. So this is three. Four, five, six, seven, nine, and then at four on the top. All right. I feel like it doesn't change though, doesn't it usually it's like Oh it did. Alright, so to get it. It didn't change to like oh of course, because I didn't use the modular these are like casings, these aren't gonna change. What am I talking about? Yeah, like these change. Alright, so there is the multi-block. Now I think I'm just gonna do <laughs> I think I'm just gonna like do this. I don't think we need to get all the way up there. So I think this is how I'm gonna like block this area off. Just so I don't have to worry about anything. Alright. Um let me yeah. Let me do a little bit of like cabling stuff underneath. I think we're just going to oh okay, so it does turn off. Once this is full it, it does turn off. Um what ends if I put What happens if we put a hot ingot in there? So like titanium. I feel like it's not gonna run. It could be wrong though. Let's see. Just doing some testing. Go and then... No, it's not gonna turn on. I didn't think it was. Yeah, so that is kind of why I want to get this sorted out. So, man, that's annoying that it auto uploads. What happens if we do like that? Is it going to auto output to the back if we do that? No. All right. So that won't auto output. And then if we do. There we go. All right, so that's what we'll do. Um, actually, with signal, I could probably throw a lever down. Would be the easiest. All right. Um, yeah. Let me run some cabling over. I think we'll do. I'm trying to. I was debating whether if we should put. I don't know. I'm not sure if this runs. Will this void and just keep running? I actually don't know that either. All right. Yeah. But uh, I'm just going to run some conduits over I think like that underneath and uh let me get the power to it I think I'm just gonna borrow this faster for time being and then uh yeah we'll come back all right we are back and a couple things um as soon as I emptied out the or started emptying out the fluid hatch the titanium uh, ingot worked so that's cool because I wasn't sure 
I wasn't sure if uh, it would work if there's air in the hatch. So um, that's good to know. As long as this isn't full, it will run if there's a little bit because obviously this pulls out. Uh, if you hit the lever, it'll pull out the air and like trying to turn it off and get like an even amount is like near impossible. Um, so that is good to know. If I turn that off, it'll just use up the last of the the, the air, and um, it will do the ink. Like it'll turn off, and we can use it for the other thing for now. So that is good to know. So there we go. So yeah, underneath, I just hooked up the power with the capacitor bank. There, I, I don't know if I actually need the capacitor bank right there, but yeah, whatever. Um, I can't remember why I did that originally. I think it was because if I wasn't sure if I was getting it's just kind of like a bit of a buffer. Um, but uh, it did run, unfortunately, I wasn't recording when it ran originally, but it does need a quite a large amount of it needs 53,000 liquid air. And you get the nitrogen, the oxygen, carbon dioxide, noble gases. So there's four of them. Is this? No. All right. So there is. Oh, there's a second one. Is this how it wants us to get? Hmm. All right. How am I going to do this? Do I need two of these? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. All right. So that's. No. Let me. Let me see here. So it wants us to get noble gases. Breaking down noble gases into components will require 53 HRV. Yeah. Require the buckets needed for one batch. Running multiple tower there. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, it wasn't the hardest thing in the world to, to do. All right. But I wasn't prepared for that quite yet. All right. So now these are full of that part. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I can totally get rid of this thing over here. All right, how do I want to do this? Um, I guess, no. Yeah, I think having a second one would, oh. I mean, it's not, it's not too bad. Um, it does take me a little while to craft everything up though. And uh, because I'm thinking, I don't really have a way to do that. Like, I, I don't think I can empty this out, can I? Yeah, that's that won't empty out. So I would have to run it back through for the argon. There no, yeah, there's no other way to get no get. So yeah, the liquid air. And then noble gases. I need 53 of these things in noble gases. I mean, you do get a decent amount. Um, I'm just trying to figure out. Yeah. I mean, we want to. I mean, this we're going to get so much of this. So 40,000 is one, so I need 50. Isn't that like 2 million buckets? Not buckets, 2 million. All right, I do need... Oh, man, I need a whole second tower. All right, uh, I do want to get this working before we log in. Let me, I guess, let me craft up this and I'll set it up. You don't need to watch me do that again. And uh, yeah, let's get some argon for the end of this episode. All right, we are back and uh, yeah, I kind of underestimated <laughs> how much, uh, how long this is it take to get all the noble gas. I've gone ahead and crafted up a second one. It actually wasn't that bad. The majority of it is aluminum steel, which is super easy to get. Um, these are a bit manual just because I don't have the recipes, um, but I have some of them. But uh, yeah, so there is two side by side. This is getting the liquid air which then converts it down into noble gases. So among the things it breaks down is noble gases. And I'm piping the noble gas over. Um, 
I did move this. I was like, why am I setting up this way? Basically, I have the capacitor, then I have it going into that other one, and then I have it coming out into those. Now, I actually don't know. Let's check this. Um, unfortunately, it's going to take a little too long before I can finish up uh, this episode because um, we need 50 more iterations of this. Um, that's going to take a while. So I'll just let this run, but I don't know. Does this void is the question. I don't know if these machines void. So that should just take a second. What is the liquid air one? 53,000. So in theory, these only hold a hundred. Yeah, these hold a hundred thousand. So this will just take a minute. And then we'll check to see, will this run if it is going to void one of the things? I really don't know. All right, so that, yeah. I think that does four, four at a time. Yeah, the only other issue is if I'm running this constantly, uh, I, I can't do ingots. <laughs> I think they'll fight over. I wonder if there is like, if I put an input bus like in a different place, would it prioritize the ingots over there? I wonder. I don't know. I think the vacuum, I think the multi blocks check in a certain order. Don't quote me on this, but I think they check on a certain order and then it'll do that, whatever. Like if it checks this block and then it checks this block and then it checks this block, that if I put like an input bus here, it may um, prioritize that. But I don't know for sure. But, all right, let's see if this ran. Okay, it did run. So I'm assuming it did void. All right, it looks like it com voided completely. All right, that's a little unexpected. I figured it would have filled this up to 100,000. And then... Oh, no. It didn't. It put it in another patch. All right. Well, <laughs> that is... Uh, yep. All right. That... Okay. We got to turn this off because now it looks like it's voiding. I thought it would stay the same in each, but as we can see, that is not the case. All right. Well, that's good to know. I wasn't quite sure how these worked. So let me... All right, so it's not voiding it. Did it? I wonder if it pulled out. I don't think it did. I was wondering if it like pulled out the noble gas through the nitrogen in there. Now it's saying it can't. So, all right, well, that's good to know. I wasn't quite sure. Um, I'm gonna get these hooked up, I think, to... I don't know. The other thing is, I don't know if it chooses the same things every single time. Like, is this first one, is this always going to be nitrogen? No, oh, that carbon dioxide. Oh man, is that random? This may be random, actually. Yeah, because I'm like, that's the, is that like the third one? But that was, I don't know. All right, well, I got some things I need to kind of forward out here. And, uh. Yeah, we'll come back next episode and we'll see if we can, we'll get some argon. And then with the argon, we'll be able to get some of these glowstone pool things, which are much, much better for the wafers. Because instead of getting just one per thing, we actually get... Oh, yeah. So instead of getting one wafer, we get four from each, so that's better. And then we can also get the more advanced ones, which is the Nand and the Nor, I think. Yeah, Nor wafers and the Nand wafers, which we can't get from the, the other wafers. But anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. So thanks for watching and have a good one.